Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2, the ultimate hexer's guide. As you can see, I'm back here in Majula and I have 29,000 souls. Basically, as I was going through to do the Shrine of Amana, I thought that maybe it would be a good place to show off Profound Still. Uh, I think that's what the spell is called. Yeah, the one that stops casting. But I realized that um, I was n I'm not going to be able to get enough souls with my consumables to... Uh, get to that level, which is 42 faith, even with the ring of faith or ring of prayer that Lysia sells. But by the point I realized that I already used my you consumables to get 29,000 souls. So I thought that I might as well come back here and go ahead and buy the ring of prayer. Gonna need this a bit later. Um, it increases your faith by 5. So that means I'm gonna have to get to 37 int and faith. Because with the Ring of Prayer and Knowledge, that will get me to 42. So, yeah, I also did some invasions, just for the fun of it. Invading in the Shrine of Amana is actually pretty good, because it's e easy to start out close to a bonfire. But whatever. Let's actually get started with this area. I wonder if I equip this spell now. Will I have any... Or if I equip the ring, will I have anything that I could use that I haven't shown off yet? But I don't think I will. Because what I really need now is actually intelligence, because I still have spells like numbness and shit like that. Actually, there <coughs> most of the spells, most of the hexes are int-based. Only a few of them have more faith than int requirement. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to take out Resonant Soul. Let's see, we need 38. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just equip Dark Storm and maybe... I don't really know. I guess we'll go with Whisper of Despair. I don't want to use uh, Resonant Soul because I only have a thousand souls. So might as well stick to Great Resonant. Well, actually, is this a good idea? Really don't know. Actually... We'll be fine. I mean... Fuck. My adaptability is really shitty, so... I imagine dodging these uh, sorcerers is gonna be pretty dif difficult. They do have a staff that they drop, but I don't think it has any hex scaling, so... I don't think I'll be farming for that. I already showed it off in the sorcerer guide. It's actually a pretty good staff. Uh, I really like the way it looks. Okay, I wonder if a Great Resonance Soul can one-shot them. It... God damn it. It almost can. You're dead. You know what would actually help? There is a fire seed down there. It's just that I don't know what I should replace. Hmm. That... Where is that ab Abyss Seal? That would would actually help. But you know what? No, no. I'll keep my ring set up like this. I'm gonna have to, like, not rely on my spells too much anyways, because... I'm gonna run out pretty quickly. I could buff up. That might help. Fuck. Didn't mean to do that. I guess it worked out. Worked out really well. Didn't mean to use a life gem. Shit. But I think... If I remember correctly... Is this where the fucking... Is this where the... Um, Estus Flask shard is? I think it is. I'm gonna have to kill this hippo. Anyways. Luckily, as you can see, Whisper of Despair and Dark Weapon... Is really helpful. I'm really liking this Whisper of Despair spell. Because when you think about it, there are very few debuffs in Dark Souls 2. Like actual debuffs. So having one is really cool. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna need to use a... Okay, you know what? What I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna use a Flame Butterfly. If I can find it. There it is. The path is kind of difficult to see, so... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to rely on Great Resonance. So I want to pick up this Flash Shard. 
Not that I cannot go through the game with 11 fla assist flasks. But, you know. Fucking hell. Left my window open again. Screw you. Come on. Alright. These two are gonna be the problem. Okay, that's one. Oh, she fell off. You know what? That's even better. Oh, I hate this. Die. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna use it. I don't even care. Let's just get to this flash shot. And it's always on the way back that I kill, get killed. So, I'm gonna be extra careful here. I don't know why I always get killed on the way back. It's because of this. This fucking hole right here. Anyways, I think we should be fine from here. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay, back to my normal setup. Oh, shit. These guys show up out of nowhere. My weapon is degrading kind of rapidly, but... I think we should be fine for the rest of this area. I mean, we'll be at a bonfire pretty soon. I just gotta get through this section. The section that everyone knows. Alright. Whisper of Despair, I mean, not, uh, Profound still would really help out a lot. But... Now, I'll probably come back here and show it off once I have it, because... It is another one of those... Oh, come on. It is a unique spell, because... Again, it's a debuff, which... There aren't that many of in this game. Anyways, I should probably... Have switched to a shield with better... God damn it. You just don't fall off the other end. That's what I wanted. Okay, good. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is I'll get a couple of my spell castings back. Because this Great Resonance Soul is still the most effective way of taking these guys out, I think. I can just lock on to her. I see you there. Luckily, this area is a lot easier once you have ranged spells. Or if you have ranged spells. I actually can take her out like this. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, I hate this. Not gonna have time to fucking cast Dark Orb, that's a problem. God damn it, I thought I was in lock on range. This area, whoever designed it, is a real prick. But at least I have decent. Seriously, come on. At least I have decent magic resistance. I think it's because I have high faith and int. And maybe this armor is good with magic defense. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. If I get killed, whatever. Come on, die. Thank you. Oh shit, she's not dead. I just wasted my resonant soul. Dodge. Yeah, I thought I switched to my... Um, thought I switched to my weapon. Oh well. This is kind of... Not the optimal way of handling this situation, but I think... I think I just did it. Fucking hell. That went better than expected. I'm so gonna darkstorm these guys. Shit. Yes. Fuck you, you assholes. And one more. Oh, she's healing. Yeah, this one can heal. This bitch. This is a unique enemy. The only one in the game. But yeah, Darkstorm. I actually got to show it off. Not that it has that many uses. But that was fun. It has a knockdown and knockdowns are always cool. Okay, here we are. That was, like I said, didn't expect it to go this well. 
I think my high magic defense is helping out a lot. Fuck. Shouldn't walk into the corrosive acid, even though I'm right next to a bonfire. But now that I have more spells, or more souls, more like, I can finally go back to my other spell setup. Which I think I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange this a bit. I'm gonna put dark weapon here. And then the resonant soul. Then great resonant soul. I think I'm finally finish, gonna finish it off with Whisper of Despair. Yeah, I think we should be good like this. Okay. All I have to do is get through this section here. And of course I have to fight the invader. How many, how many souls do these guys give? 200. Okay. Okay, Resonant Soul. Time to go to work. I hate that that's not a one-shot. Oh well, Dark Core Pen can finish it off. Okay, am I in range of... My equipment is... Oh, fuck. I just wasted a great, great Resonant Soul. Oh well. Let's see. This is also one of those difficult sections. Damn it. Of course, when I walk right into the spell, it doesn't help. Okay, let's see, we can... Huh? What the hell? That was weird. Did that go through, like, the wall or something? <sighs> let's see. This is such a stressful part of the game. Okay, we can go and do that. I hate that I'm out of range for the lock-on. Just barely. I'm actually really beginning to like Resonant Soul. I mean, I don't see that many people using it online. It's probably not as useful. But in PvE, I'm liking it a lot. People always complain anyways that I'm not using enough spells. Well, here we go. I'm basically just spell spamming. Oops. Of course, when I get the wrong spell, that's not good. Okay. Come on. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm so close. Just gotta get right next to her. Oh shit, don't push me off. Don't push me off. I don't know which part. I think this is actually a worse part of the shrine than the previous area. Okay, thank you for missing. I wonder when that invader is going to show up. I don't even know what the conditions are for him showing up. But he's going to be here. Peculiar Kindler, or whatever his name is. You know what, I'm just going to use my weapon. At least I think he's going to show up. I do want to fight him because he has a chance of dropping the Black Witch Staff. Which I'm gonna have to farm for anyways. Red Iron Twin Blade, never use it. Oh, there we go. Hey there. This is a Hexer, probably the only Hexer NPC. Oh no, because Navlan. Of course, Navlan. Luckily, he's pretty stupid, so... Oh shit, maybe he's not stupid. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, come on, you bastard. Hate that spell. R1 spam. Dead. And no drop. Oh well, whatever. I would have been very... <clears throat> I would have been very lucky if I would gotten the drop. I actually did get the blue flame sword that way. It dropped from the NPC back in the Sorcerer Guide. Anyways, I think we did decently well. Uh, didn't even, did I even... Fuck, I didn't die in the Shrine of Amana. I think that's actually a first. It might be a first. Well, I'm proud of that. If that's actually the case. Alright. Let's go. Dark Weapon, Whisper of Despair, let's get to work.
Demon of Song isn't that difficult anyways, so... Okay, Whisper. Fuck. Thought I could have hit him. Okay, let's see how this is gonna do. Nice. Again, a lot of the bosses are weak to dark. So that's always an advantage. Oh! I've never seen him use that attack before. Oh shit. I don't like when he jumps like that. Either gonna go for the water blast or... Or he's gonna jump. Neither of those are really good options. His jump is the most difficult thing to avoid, I think. Anyways, I'm dealing a ton of damage. Oh shit! I think I've gotten hit by that before. Doesn't do as much damage as you'd expect. Luckily, this boss gives you so many opportunities to heal. And also get pancaked. I guess when he hits you, he doesn't need recovery. Okay, you know what? I'm tired of this. Thank you, Resonant Soul. Do your work. There's so much damage. It's ridiculous. And you're dead. Alright. And I'm only 16 minutes in. I'm gonna be able to start the... What you call it? Undead Crypt as well. Well, that's very convenient. I'm just gonna go, go straight down there. I could hit this, this bonfire to the side, but... Ah, whatever. I did that once, but... There's no need. Okay, here we go. I think Agdane has a spell that he sells. But we're gonna have to check him out. Or is that just a pyromancy? No, I'm pretty sure he sells something unique. I don't know. Anyways, gonna head back to Majula and level up, of course. And then we can... I don't know. We'll see how I do on time. And maybe I'll go on for a bit. I'm making really good progress on this guide. Moving through the main portions of the game, I'm assuming the DLCs are going to take more because from what I've heard and seen, a lot of the bosses in the DLCs are extremely, extremely resistant to, to dark. So yeah, let's go and level up. And of course I'll have to take out the Dark Lurker as well. You know what, I think I'm going to do that after clearing this area. I'll kill Valstat and... We'll finish that up, that quest. Okay. I'm assuming we're not going to be able to do too much in terms of leveling because while well, I'm already kind of over-leveled. Well, I, I, wouldn't, I shouldn't say that. I'm just getting up there in terms of levels. I don't know why I l left. That was a screw-up. Anyways, okay, 33, do I want to, or I could just do this, no, we'll just go on like this, okay, is there anything else I need to do here in Majula, I don't think so, still don't have any chunks, do I, no, nothing, is Cloan? Fuck, did I not talk to Cloan? Back in Earth and Peak. God damn it. I'm gonna have to do that off screen because I want her to move back here. She probably has shit, she has chunks, doesn't she? I think she sells them <clears throat> after the looking last night. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll move on for a bit. I'll check out Agdane, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure he's, uh, he has a spell. And I still have to get fucking affinity and things like that. Well, actually, I don't mind that I'm I haven't gotten affinity yet because I find that those homing crystals, soul mass, and affinity and shit like that isn't that useful in PVE. 
Oops. In PV, it's pretty great. But, you know, the problem is it focuses on only one enemy. Oh yeah, and of course I'm gonna have to farm for the Black Witch Staff. I don't know, I think this is probably the easiest um, place to do it, because there are like three Lady of Witches here. That was a waste, probably. Luckily their spells do absolute jack shit in terms of damage. But they do like to spam, that's for sure. Seriously? Come on, I just want to heal. They are spamming a lot of spells. Okay, I think this is gonna be fine like this. God damn it, I thought I was in lock on range. Okay, let me just. Oh shit, that's not doing a lot of damage. And I'm poisoned. Wait, now, how am I poisoned? God damn it. I don't have any mosses, do I? I think I might be dead. Okay, one down. If I can just survive this, please. Should have kept a weapon that's dark infused. Because, of course, they are super resistant to dark. How's a resonant soul gonna do? Better. Okay, maybe I'll just have to resort to spell spamming but I did survive again ah shit that's not doing a lot firestorm I'm gonna check check out what other weapons I have and maybe I could use and of course no drops oh well like I said this is probably the best place to farm the staff I'm not sure but I'll definitely do it cuz it's probably the only time I'm going to be showing it off. Also, these guys, if you want to fight them, they do drop the Silver Black Sickle. Which is a dark weapon. It's basically like a shuttle, but it has dark damage to begin with. I don't know. I'm not going to get it, because I think that's going to piss off Agdane. Anyways. There's a lot of shit to say. Okay, I'm gonna get the gesture, and does he actually have anything? Oh no, he doesn't, shit. Solo peas, I thought he had a hex. Ah oh, well, he does have a ton of human effigies. But yeah, and dark arrows and dark bolts. Okay, I think this is gonna wrap up this episode. I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Ultimate Hex Guide. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.